Hi guys, how are you doing today? I have a drugstore haul today. I separated my haul this month, one in high end, which should already be up, and then this one, which is drugstore. What can I say? It was the kind of month where I just did a lot of shopping. I'm gonna start out by saying this. This is a drugstore haul, but there are some like more affordable things in here that are not necessarily from the drugstore. So let's start with this. I made an order through Beauty Junkies. Thank you to Kristen Game, who kind of assisted me in that. I'm very excited to try these, okay? If you go on Beauty Junkies websites, I know there are coupon codes out there. I don't have one personally. I know Kristen Game had one. I don't know if she still does, but I'm sure you can find coupon codes. Um, anyway, I ordered three different sets of brushes. They have these deals where you can get like, these are like all their face brushes, I think, for a very low price. But if you were to buy one, it's like half the cost of getting like five. So here's what I did. I really only wanted the face brush. So like the, I think it's the, the round kabuki. One of them, I'm gonna have to take it out and play with it. But one of them was the one I really wanted. But then I thought, well, I'll just buy the whole thing and the rest I'll put like in a giveaway. So that's what I did with that. But then I really wanted the eye brushes. So I got a bunch of eye brushes. So Beauty Junkies brushes are all super, super affordable. I've never tried them, but I have only ever heard good things on various people's channels about them. Um, so I got a few like sets. So I got that one set, then I got this set, which is like a combination of face and eye brushes. Here's like the pro highlighter brush. Let's try this because this looks like the Sigma F35. It's very soft. So this has that, it has a, like a duochrome. Oh, this is nice, I like the shape of this. Not a duochrome, a duo fiber brush. What is this one? Sculptor, so this one is like for contouring. Oh, that's nice. It's kind of like skinnier on the side. Yeah, that would be good. And then this is a detailer brush. So I guess that's for, it could be for like concealer or it could even be an eye brush too. And it comes in like this little case, which is really pretty. And this one came with the sponge case. Okay, so I really wanted one of these two and it came with this set. So I thought it was such a good deal. This is, this is shaped exactly like the Real Techniques one. I have, I have not wet it yet, so I can't like compare them, but I, I'm really excited to try this. I've heard it's really good. And then this one has all the eye brushes that I ordered. So it's like a big set. I think this is all of their eye brushes. And you guys, this was like a really good deal. Like all three of these sets, I can't remember how much I paid, but I think it was like $70 or less for all three of these sets shipped, which is awesome. So I like how the, they have on each of the brushes exactly what it's for. So pro, pe pro pencil, eyeliner, angled shader, pro crease brush, pro tapered blending brush, Pro Blending Brush, Pro Flat Definer, and All Over Shader. I love I love how they do that. Now, you can use different brushes for different reasons, obviously, but it's like, you know, it's a nice guideline. These all look amazing. With my Sephora and high-end haul, I'm going to do like a first impressions video with those things. And I have so much here in this haul that I think I will do a completely separate like first impressions with a bunch of this stuff so that you guys can see it in action too. And you guys know I always give you updates a few weeks later after I do a first impression. So stay tuned because there's a lot of stuff here that I know you guys are gonna wanna know about and I can't wait to try it. I got this from Walmart. This is the Remove It Onyx Professional Glitter and Nail Art Nail Polish Remover Vanilla Cupcake Scent. That's part of the reason I bought it because I was like, mmm, that sounds great. Honestly, you guys, this is, I don't like this. So I don't wanna tip any over, but if you can see like, you're just supposed to stick your finger in there and move it back and forth. And literally like, there's just a bunch of nail polish remover in there. So the good part of that is you could just refill it and keep using it, but I've used it on glitter nail polish and it doesn't really work all that well. And this, the scent, like if you were to give this a whiff, you'd pass out. It smells like nail polish remover. But the scent kind of lingers on your nails. I don't know if that's worth anything to anybody, but I don't know. I'm not like, I, I, I'm, I don't even know what to say about this. I don't really think it's all that useful. Okay, I'm gonna cheat a little bit. This is not a drugstore. This is from Sephora, but I just bought it the other day and I don't wanna wait till like next month to show you guys. So I'm just gonna show you now. I bought a pair of the House of Lashes Sephora Collaboration Lashes. These are in the style Everlasting and they are very wispy. Hopefully you can see, I think you can see there. 
Like they are ultra, ultra wispy lashes. I just thought they looked a little bit unique. I like how they're, they are tapered more on the inside and they flare out a little bit more. But like I said, ultra wispy. So I just wanted to give them a try. I went to Winners, which is TJ Maxx if you're American. It's the exact same company. Um, and I just got two things. So I got the Batiste Dry Shampoo. This is in the Floral and flirt, Flirty Blush scent. I think I remember liking this. And then I got these Global Beauty Care Under Eye Pads. You guys know if you've watched my channel, I love the Dead Sea Salt ones or whatever they're called. And these ones are retinol. And my skin does pretty well with retinol. I don't react to it at all. And so I thought that I would love to try these. So there are five eye treatments in here and it was like $7. It says right on it, anti-wrinkle serum. I placed an order with Avon and I placed an order for a bunch of their foot stuff because I don't know about you, but in the summer, especially like if you're wearing sandals or you're wearing shoes without socks and you do a lot of walking, sometimes your feet can start to feel like really hot and achy. So all of this is kind of designed around that. Um, this is the Footworks Reviving Leg Gel. Sometimes before I go to bed, I like to put products like this, this similar kind of like achy muscle stuff on my legs if I worked out that day or if you ever get like really restless leg syndrome or you're just sore at night for whatever and you're in bed and you're like oh like your legs are sore I always like to put something like this on even before I get into bed I just find like it helps me get to sleep and then this is the it's a very similar idea this is the achy foot and muscle cream and this is awesome over I've tried this it's awesome this is the cooling spray pineapple chill so back to that idea of like your feet are kind of hot and achy you've been walking a lot that i did that one day came home from like i don't remember shopping or something and my feet were feeling like that sprayed this on literally like two minutes later they were feeling great so love that and then i just wanted to try this this is the aloe dual action petty peel how you can have like exfoliator pads for your face so this is the same kind of idea like for your feet so a whole bunch of foot care stuff like isn't that kind of random my walmart got elf it's about time so my walmart got rid of flower beauty which i've tried a few products was never in love with anything and they brought in elf and i could not be happier because before i could only buy elf by like um like ordering it from the elf website and being in canada paying duty and exchange and all that not as great of a deal so now it's in walmart i'm so excited i picked up a few things that i know i love and a few other random things i got a bunch of brushes this is from their one dollar line this is the defining eye brush i have one of these already and i use it a ton i use it for brow bone highlighting and also sometimes for inner corner highlighting this one i also have and love this is the eye crease brush but i use this one to like smudge out my lower lash line awesome this brush is so good you guys this is the elf complexion brush it's kind of like an all-over face powder brush it is so good for pressed powder for picking up a lot of like just picking it up nicely out of the pan it's so good and then these two i have never tried so i'm really excited this one is the this is from their their higher end brush line i can't remember if it's called studio or something anyway this is the blending brush and it the shape of it i can tell you right now is just like a mac 217 you can see like it's kind of like um flattish and more tapered but still like a blending brush it's pretty soft and then i got the small stipple brush so i have the large stipple brush and i know i've heard lots of people talk about the small stipple brush and uh using it for like cream um blush and stuff like that so can't wait the other thing i picked up is my holy grail powder you guys have seen this a lot mine is starting to break i've like hit pan on it a long time ago this is the perfect finish hd powder this is just like a translucent powder but this powder is so good if you were oily it really 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 is lasts a long time and it reapplies throughout the day beautifully without looking cakey i love this powder so much and the other random thing I picked up is from the Still line. This is a ginger and pumpkin self-heating face mask. And I saw pumpkin and I was like, I have to try that. And then I saw self-heating and I was like, what? So can't wait to try this. I'm sure you guys will hear about it in a future empties video. I went to Shoppers Drug Mart 
multiple times. Shoppers Drug Mart, if you are not Canadian, is just like a drugstore, um, but a lot of them have now like half drugstore and like a lot of them have high-end stuff. So there is a little bit of that mixed in here, but most of this honestly is drugstore stuff. You guys, honestly, there is so much stuff here. Like I, I'm starting to realize that I went a little bit crazy, but a lot of it is just like I haven't tried and I love testing stuff. You know how that goes. Okay, let's just dive into it. Okay, I bought a replacement of the Nair hair removal cream for face and upper lip. This works really well. I just, I've used it for years. It's not, um, it doesn't irritate my skin at all. It's already upstairs in my bathroom, but I want to show you that. So that's the box. This, okay, I got a bunch of stuff from Essence. Now you guys know Essence is hit and miss, but I think for the most part is a hit. For most things I buy from Essence are awesome. So. I got a bunch of stuff. Um, first of all, I wanted like a colorful eyeliner for my lower waterline. This one, even though summer's like over now, so I don't know. I, I should have bought this at the beginning of summer. Anyway, this is 17 turquoise, fairly creamy. There's actually a little, tiny little bit of sparkle in this, but I don't know. I think you have to look like really close to see the sparkle. I wanted to try an Essence Mascara, which I never have. I've heard good things. This is the Lash Princess False Lash Effect Mascara. And it's got like super cute packaging. Like, look at that. So adorable. This one I actually tried already because I was so intrigued. This is the I Love Color Intensifying Eyeshadow Base. So it's like an eyeshadow primer. It has a doe foot applicator. Um, doesn't really smell like anything. Anyway, it's supposed to intensify colors. I don't know if they're saying that just because pretty much all eyeshadow primers intensify colors. I've only tried it once. I didn't really notice a huge amount of difference to how my eyeshadow normally goes on, but I need to test it more. And then this is this highlighter that a lot of people have been talking about. This is the Pure Nude Highlighter. And you guys know, like, Essence is so affordable, and I think this was like... $4.99, look at that, oh my gosh, it looks so good. This is from the line Joe Fresh, which is, as far as I know, is only in Canada, um, and it's their gentle eye makeup remover with probe vitamin B5, oil free. So I'm really excited to try this. You guys know I love testing eye makeup removers. I am passionate about it because I hate tugging on my eyes. I hate causing wrinkles. I love finding gentle eye makeup, eye makeup removers that don't make me tug and rub on my eyes. Speaking about that, along those lines, I bought these finally. These are the Quo, which also a Canadian company, um, luxury, dog hair, luxury cotton facial pads, um, 165. So these are supposed to be a dupe for the Shiseido ones, which I have tried multiple times. I really like them. So I thought it was about time that I actually tried these because these, uh, Shoppers carries the Shiseido ones and these are actually like right beside it. And these ones were like $6.99 and I think the Shiseido ones are like 11. So, I mean, if they work just as good, then that would be amazing. And I picked up my favorite floss. This is the Oral-B Satin Floss, you guys. This is so good. It doesn't fray. It's just such a good floss. You know when floss like frays as you're trying to floss your teeth? It's so annoying. This one never does that. And I floss my teeth at least twice a day. Okay, here's the Physician's Formula Shimmer Strips. This is the all-in-one custom nude palette. Um, I waited for Physicians Formula to go on sale as I always do because I would never buy it full price because it always goes on sale. I have heard so many good things about this from multiple people. Oh, it's very soft. Oh, whoa. Whoa. You guys, look at that. I just put my finger kind of in that quadrant. So you can kind of like place your brush wherever you want. Let's go kind of right here I'm not giving you the finger get a little bit more of a goldy champagne Wow so yeah this could be like a multiple multiple like highlight palette that's awesome I've never ever tried Marcel products again this is a Canadian brand I just figured like 
I'm Canadian. I should try out some of these Canadian home brands that I've never tried before. Um, this is the Marcel Flawless Skin Fusion Concealer. And I was able to swatch a tester in the store and it seemed pretty full coverage and really creamy. And so I was like intrigued enough to buy it. I think it's about $11 full price, but I just saw it go on sale for like $6.99. So like very affordable as well. But to me, like the texture of it felt as nice as a lot of high-end ones that I've tried. Okay, last two things from that shopping trip. I bought the NYC lengthening mascara. It's called Skyrise. It says up to 60% longer. I saw somebody, I can't remember who, um, do this, like use this in a first impressions and freaked out because it was so amazing. So I thought, this is like under $4. So I thought I would just pick it up and test it out. I'm not showing you guys the brushes yet because I am... I literally have just bought three new mascaras and I'm not sure which one I'm gonna open first so I just want to like don't want to open any and get air into it until I'm ready and the last thing from that trip was this NYX uh, lip liner in bed rose and I swatched this in the store because they have like testers you guys is this not the prettiest like mauvey pinky nude shade ever I've been obsessed with my Charlotte Tilbury lip cheat, which I'm actually wearing today under something else. But this, I'm telling you, I could see becoming like my new go-to lip liner because first of all, the color's gonna go with everything and it's super creamy. I'm, I couldn't leave this behind in the store. It was just too good. I went yesterday because I was actually buying some gifts for somebody and I can't just buy somebody else stuff. I have to buy myself some stuff too. So I've been wanting to try new foundation. You, I have so much foundation, but I just love trying foundations. I don't know why. I just always think there's going to be something new and better out there. So I bought two foundations that I have never tried. So I bought one from the high-end side and one drugstore. This is the Maybelline Superstay Better Skin. And I've heard that this is really good for um, oily skin. It comes in a glass bottle. It's got pump. Like packaging is amazing on this for being drugstore. And I think this was on sale yesterday as well. And then this is another one I've really wanting, really been wanting to try. It's the new Smashbox Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. Now, it does say hydrating on it, but I was reading reviews on Sephora the other day, and so many people who have oily skin were saying that it's amazing. So I got it. It very nice packaging. Again, like glass bottle pump. And this is in the shade 1.2. This one was in the shade um shoot oh 15 ivory so this one's looking a little more pink than this one to be honest um anyway hopefully i won't have to change the shade on either one of these isn't it amazing though that this is like 30 dollars more than this and the packaging essentially is the same you have a plastic pump and glass bottle like really why i think i'm gonna do like a whole video on this one and just review it um, and then this one I will probably do in a first impressions for you. I bought my third mascara, like I said. This is the Lee Swatche Dramatic Mascara Impermeable Weatherproof Mascara. So I was able to actually like open this in the store. They had a tester and I could see what the brush looked like. And it was like very, one of those kind of messy brushes, if you know what I mean. Like it, it just had bristles kind of everywhere. And I love those type of brushes because I just feel like those are the most volumizing. And I've never tried anything at all from this line. And I figured mascara is a good place to start as anywhere else. So I will probably be using this. I'll probably be opening this soon. But anyway, this is more of a high-end brand. It's not really a drugstore pricing. Another Essence. The girl, the beauty boutique manager, who is very, very sweet and nice. She, when I brought this out to the counter, she freaked out. She was like, that is so amazing. I bought it. Elvis here, love it. It's so pigmented. It's so beautiful. I was like, all right, perfect. This was $5.99. So this is the Essence All About Roses eyeshadow palette. And as you can see, it's all like kind of purples and I thought this would be beautiful for the fall. So let's just swatch a couple. I'm sure you guys want to see that darkish purpley shade. Oh, it's got a few little sparklies in it. And I'll go into this taupey shade right here. Well, that's kind of a nice lilac. And how about this pink one? The very lightest brow bone highlight. These are very soft, you guys. Yeah, nice. Look at that. So you can see that purple, the lilac, that pink, and look at that brow bone highlight. When these first came out, I think it was last month, honestly, I didn't get all that excited about it. 
I have some of the single shadows from this line. Okay, so this is the L'Oreal Paris Color Riche um, eyeshadows. And they used to sell these in singles, now they're making these quads. This is in 114 Violet Amour. I was able to swatch this in Walmart last month because somebody had messed with one already. And I was not all that impressed, to be honest. And then I kept seeing people on YouTube talking about it. And so I thought, well, you know what? I'll give it a try. If I don't like it, what's the worst that can happen? And these colors, though, like are very beautiful. Purple does not photograph well, even through like video well. Um, in person, these are very like vibrant. And I think on, on camera, they're coming through much more cool. They're more like... This is more like a magenta. Anyway, sorry if the colors are not coming through perfectly. Even, yeah, just swatching it now. They're just, they're like okay. They're looking okay, but they're not like blowing my mind. So I'm gonna have to try it out, of course, and see how I like it and see if it's worth it. Let you guys know. Very last thing, I finally got Amber Rush from the Infallible collection. Um, if you guys have been following my journey with like these kind of shadows, I just bought a bunch of Armani ones that I love and I've been using the MAC 242 brush to apply them and they apply gorgeously. Like I, I think I just wasn't using the right brush before. Oh my gosh. When I was um, using my other infallibles because I didn't like them. But now that I'm using the 242 from MAC, I've really been loving this type of like creamier kind of pigment shadow. Yeah, I can see why people love this. That is beautiful. And that's from the drugstore. Like, that's amazing. So I know there's a reason people love this and not that many, that many people cannot be wrong, right? So there you go. Can't wait to put that on my eyeballs. And that's the end of my haul. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. Like I said, I will definitely do like a first impression roundup with a bunch of this stuff and then maybe other reviews here and there. So make sure that you're subscribed so that you can be like notified of that kind of thing coming up. And that's it for today. So if you guys have any questions about any of this or you wanna see anything in particular, let me know. But I hope that you guys are having a fantastic day wherever you are. I am going out for a birthday tonight, so I'm pretty excited about that but it is literally bucketing just right now. It just started bucketing outside the window. Oh well, <laughs> I'll take an umbrella with me. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for spending time with me today. I'll see you next time, and I love you. Mwah! Bye.